What sort of unemployment rate are you looking for to get the Fed to cut rates in May? So I think it, it's going to be more about inflation if the Fed were to cut as early as May. I think the bar is very high for them to go that soon, though. Um, but I do still expect them to be ready by June. For the employment report, you know, we're expecting another big number, around 245,000. Even if it comes in at 100, 150,000, they'll say it's just one print. Um, we're going to look at the unemployment rate. I think even if we get a very strong jobs number, we're going to keep the unemployment rate higher at 3.9 percent, and that's because so many people are coming into the labor market. And then you're still going to get wage pressures that are coming off. So when you talk about a, a Goldilocks scenario, right, that's going to be a report that says the economy is still strong, but it's not something that gives a definitive signal to the Fed that they need to cut very soon here. Well, Chair Powell agrees with you that it's a bigger economy, not a tighter one, thanks to immigration. But you've put the neutral jobs rate of growth at 265,000 a month. Why is Powell's estimate of 100,000 wrong? So, look, I had an estimate of 100,000 just six months ago. Um, essentially, we've gotten new data, and this is something that markets have to deal with, economists have to deal with. We have gotten significantly upward revisions to population growth in the U.S., and faster population growth means faster economy, it means faster growth in the labor market, and it also means that you're going to have a higher, what we call break-even level for employment, the amount of jobs you need to create in order to keep the unemployment rate steady. And so this is a supply-side story. That supply-side story is something that Chair Powell has been focused on since later last year. 2023 was all about improving supply chains, improving labor supply. 2024 extends that labor supply improvement where the growth in the population uh, is just that strong. And so this is a real supply side story that is supporting growth in the economy without creating inflationary pressures.